Welcome to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're going to play a game that I'm very excited about. It's called Help Will Come Tomorrow. And it's like a survival slash storytelling, a little bit of a camp builder put in. And it's a really, really interesting game. It's a lot of fun. So let's just start this off. I'm going to be playing on Survivor, which is kind of like the medium, I presume. And let's go. Big thank you to developers for giving me a key to this game. Because I this is gonna be so cool, guys. Okay. Russia. We were all passengers of this speeding train. Divided into class, quarreled, confined in our own compartments. There was someone's story hidden in each of them. War, escape, adventure, fight for change. Subconsciously, however, we all felt what the end of this journey could be. At that moment, all divisions disappeared. And our stories marched into one. We have barely escaped death. Can you hear the shots? They're killing other survivors. This is a replay from Zamiamsky Square. The star supporters are opening fire to the proletarians. You're talking nonsense. They're just thugs or deserters. Don't talk so loudly because they'll hear us. We're on a long way. I think we can take a rest here and the snow will cover our footprints. Alright, so this game is very, very cool. So there are two phases in the game. There's a date and night. In the night, we focus on relationships and making sure that the people like each other because relationships in people determine how well they do actions together and all sorts of things like that. During the day, we can sort of build things and make food and things like that. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta unsnow this campfire so that we can build our very own campfire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of our people. So in order to do that, we need to use their action points. And each person has the number of action points that it says over here. So these guys have two, these others have three. Every person starts off with three uh, action points, but for each two negative effects, they lose an action point. So that's why some of these only have two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a drink to this guy. It's, it lowers the negative effects, so he was thirsty, but now he's not anymore, but it doesn't change anything because at the start of the day, he just had that negative effect. So that's why. His action points are still just two, okay? So, we're going to unsnow this. We're going to tell uh, Vadim to unsnow it. As we sort of remove the snow, we get some sort of resources, which is really important because this will allow us to do build things. So we unsnowed the place and now we can build our campfire. So in order to build campfire, we could either have one person doing it, which is going to cost them three action points or two different people and it's going to cost one action point each. So we're going to pick two different people. In order to do it, we need to pick people who like each other. So actually Dimitri pretty likes pretty the girl quite a bit. What's her name? Maria. She likes Maria. Maria does, Maria actually likes the most Vadim. This guy's name is Vadim. And Vadim actually likes Maria quite a lot, so that's good. At the beginning, each person belongs to some kind of guru. So we've got revolutionary, aristocracy, and normal. And that uh, sort of affects the relationship. Later on, the relationship will change based on how they like each other. All right. So by the way, let me just tell you the people's names. We've got Matria Petrenka. We've got Sir Edward Gray. We've got Vadim Bielov and we've got Dimitri Sokolov. The people you get are random, but they're like the same. So this guy's always going to be Vadim in a different uh, game as well, but uh, you get a random selection. So that's why I knew some of their names. So we're going to send uh, Maria and Vadim, because they like each other the most, to build the campfire. So go, Maria and Vadim build it for me. Now for this we need wood, we need eight wood here on the bottom, you see how many you need, so this is kind of like the eight points, and we can use different things for it. So we're going to use sticks, each stick gives us one point, but sometimes for example like the stone, one stone gives us three points, so since we only need six we only need two stones, so we're going to build this, and they're going to build this together. Because they build it together it will affect their relationship, and we'll also learn a little bit about them. So we learned that Maria is weak. This character is weak and gets started quickly. 
and that's all we learned. We've built our campfire. Could we build, we cannot build, okay, so we cannot build, this would allow us to make water, but unfortunately we can't build that just yet. We can see that Maria is quite thirsty. We're gonna tell somebody to unsnow some other place. We're gonna tell Vani Vadim to unsnow this. So this will give us more resources. Hopefully we will be able to build, to actually build the thing that will allow us to get water. Could we? No. Okay, never mind. In that case, let me just first light up the campfire. I'm gonna put a little bit of cones in there so that we can get some water. And here we can see the actions we can do with the campfire. So we could repair it, or we could do fraternization, allow two people to kind of talk to each other to increase their relationship. We could roast an animal, but we actually don't have any. Uh, f fish, or like, you know, burn a fish, or use meat, but we cannot really do anything with this because we've got no meat, so we can't do that. But we could if we had the option. That's why we need to first like upgrade the campfire so we could do the things like filter water or be able to cook vegetables and things like that. So right now some people are hungry. Vadim is hungry. So we're going to give him this edible root. So he's a little less hungry. And we're going to tell Dimitri to unsnow some more. So we're going to tell him to unsnow this. And still, we're hoping for more resources so we could do the water filtration thing. We've got some moss, which is food. That's not too bad. And I think we should be able to do it now. Let's check it. We've got enough needles and we've got enough materials. So we're going to send Maria and... Who is this? Sir, I think it's Sir Edward to do it together. They don't like each other too much, but that's okay. Tell them to do it. Maybe we'll learn some more about them. All right, so because these two are building it, the people who are not building, they actually increase their trust in these people because they're like happy that they're kind of working in the direction we want them to. We learned that Sir Edward is a survivalist. The character has a chance to avoid a negative event during the expedition. It's really, really good. And let me actually talk to you a bit more about the relationships. So the relationship is split into three parts. We've got trust, friendship, and credit. Trust determines how much one character believes in good intentions of the others. And this increases with, for example, we could see the other two people building stuff. So the people who weren't building were like kind of happy and they increased their trust in them. Friendship is how much they like each other and credit is how, how skilled do we think that the other person is. We could also learn about character traits as we've been doing till now. And this is like if you let them do things or at night if you pick, uh, sometimes if options at night in conversations, if you pick the thing that sort of fits the person, you can learn new traits. And here we can learn about their story. So, so far we know that Dimitri is a, looks like a high ranking officer. There's a determination in his eyes and we know nothing else about him. We know he has twisted ankle. If you don't restrain the foot after a few days, the character will start to limp permanently. That's not great. We'll tell Sir Edward to get us some water, to filter water. Because we upgraded the campfire, we can now filter water. So this is going to give us three water, so our other people are not going to be so hungry. And we learned that he's dependent. Every day when the character performs a given type of action, first they lose comfort and their morale drops. And we're also going to tell... Dimitri to filter water as well. So we're gonna get six water, which should really help us out so our people will not be thirsty. Let's give water to Sir Edward and to Maria. Ah, clean water. Any and nobody else is thirsty yet. And we'll get some food into Vadim. Seems to be a bit hungry. Didn't help too much, but like a little bit. Got some fire here, so hopefully they won't be freezing too much. And we're going to go and start the night cycle. All right, so we can learn about people. We're going to start with Vadim's introduction. Comrades in misery, fate has put us under a difficult test. I appeal, let us rise above divisions. Ooh, Maria likes that. We learned that he's a socialist. This character rejects capitalism and promotes the ideas of social justice. In the face of danger, everyone, a frivolous, aristocratic, greedy, borgo, or dumb peasant must unite and cooperate. Was that frivolous about me? <laughs> he doesn't like that. Today we say no to divisions, no matter if you vomited oysters yesterday or cleaned up the vomits. 
That's too much. I agree. That's not a good example. Woe to us if at this critical moment we give in to prejudices or expect special treatment. I say this especially to you, Dmitry Sokolov. I will keep an eye on you. It increased everybody's trust in him. Let's do Dmitry's introduction. The situation is as follows. The enemy outnumbers he is better armed and knows the area. Knowing that he's a warmonger, this character likes when something is going on even if it doesn't have a positive effect. You have to secure the area. I will determine the order of patrols and changing the watch at night. Does anybody have any weapons? Captain, we are not a troop of swords and we will not become it even under such a respectable command. Nonsense. The situation has turned all of us into soldiers and the warriors need a commander. In that case, let's talk about who should take on this role. Ooh, well, she wants to be the leader. Okay. Less talking, more action. <laughs> really, man? You were like, we need a commander. I was like, you know what? No. I took over the first watch in the dawn. We will look for sharp stones and metal fragments so that we can sharpen the perches and arrows. So everybody increases his trust, their trust in him, which is quite nice. And then we can see how it sort of affected the relationship with them again. So it seems like positive on, on a sort of everybody's round. Everybody seems to like what everybody else said. They're a pretty good group together, it seems. Yeah, even she's happy about what, what he said. I'm well, kind of okay with it. The camp morale fell a little bit. We learned that Dimitri is a perfectionist. The character prefers to do things precisely. The quality of their construction is high enough and gains credit while their morale increases when making solid structures. Unfortunately, morale drops during the makeshift action and after each small action. So he likes to do big things and not like tiny, tiny things like filter water. We learned that Vadim is unfriendly. This character is not like the friendship of other characters towards them constantly decreases. Alright. We learned that he's starving. This character's hunger increases faster than the others. Alright. Yeah, he's starving already. Let's give some water to Sir Edward and Maria. And uh, they're tired, but they're not too bad. And Vadim is starving, so we're gonna have to give him water. So next thing we're gonna do right now is expeditions. So first of all, we gotta check who likes who. You and Maria are okay. Everybody likes Maria. So the question is who Mar Maria likes Vadim the most. So we'll send Maria and Vadim. Wait, somebody was a survivalist. Who is it? Oh, so you are you need to go. You are a survivalist, so you go with Maria then. Sir Edward and Maria will go on an expedition. So Sir Edward and Maria, they like each other kind of medium, but I think it's a good idea for them to go together. So let's send them. And we'll send them into an unknown zone. And we're gonna tell them to search the place. And they found some mushrooms, bark, needles, and bugs. So let's grab that. And if we can tell them to search again in the same area, but it's going to increase the danger of the zone. Up here we can see lost probability. The probability they, they will get lost if they keep going. If they get lost, they're gonna stay away for one more night, which is not good for us. Well, let's grab all of this. That's pretty good. You can tell them to keep going. The loss probability isn't too bad, so let's just keep searching for things. Take all. We'll do one more, I think. Let's move here. Search this. And I think... I think one more, maybe. So this actually costs us the action points already. All right, we're done. If you're taking everything, we're gonna go back home. We managed to collect a lot, so this is really good. So first of all, we need to handle food. So we've got a couple of options. We still can't like cook anything. Actually, let me first check. Could we build this cooking upgrade? No, because we need clay for that and we don't have it. So we can actually upgrade it even if we were to send people there. See, we can do it. But that's, never mind. that's okay. We will... Oh, we could do a makeshift pot though. The pot makes it possible to cook. It would only need one clay. We still don't have enough of that, but we could try to do it. All right, never mind. In that case, first I'm gonna increase the, the fire so that they're not uh, like freezing. And then we're gonna give people food. So we've got poisonous mushrooms. We don't want that, but we've got regular mushroom. Let's give that to Vadim because he seems to be the most hungry. We've got berries. Give that to Vadim as well. He's still hungry? How much do you need to eat? Bugs. Yeah, I'll give you bugs. Yuck, awful, but what a man can do. Eat more bugs. 
I need you to stop. Okay, finally. He's now at a level of hunger that everybody else was, which is kind of... Let's give bucks to kind of everybody. Alright, so Vadim is not hungry at all. And we've got some edible roots that we could give to... Actually, it causes indigestion, so we're not going to give it to more people anymore. Maria and uh, Dimitri are going to remain a bit hungry. But actually, we could give them moss. Not going to help too much, but I'd like them to like not be hungry at all. Might give them indigestion, but we're gonna hope that it won't. It actually did, never mind. We lose some morale at night. Okay, let's give them some more in that case. Since they're losing it anyway, we might as well make sure they're not hungry. Good, nobody's hungry anymore. Some of them are shivering, but they are near the fire, so hopefully it will be okay. We could add one more bark here to make it a bit warmer. Alright, next thing we gotta do is we gotta... Since we can't really build anymore... Actually, could we build a shelter? This would allow one of our people to sleep here, so we should reduce their fatigue. So I think we'll do it. We're gonna send a rag here. No, we would need to go with... Canvas. And we'll tell Vadim with Maria to build it. So we're gonna get ourselves a shelter and the, per the person who is the most tired will get to sleep there. We only have a place for one person for now, but I think it's still good. So Maria is a mender. Carrot has a chance to recover action points from the repair or camp structures or tools. Why are we working with someone else? Okay, we don't need to work there anymore. She's tired, so we'll tell her to rest. No, I don't want you to build stuff. I want you to rest. Okay, so she's gonna rest there, so she's not gonna be tired anymore. You... Tell them to fraternize, like, so that they could be a bit happier if we wanted to. But I think it costs us an action. Okay, first of all, somebody needs to do water. So we're gonna tell, tell you to fill the water. It's gonna give us four water, which is good. If we're gonna do the fraternization, we're gonna try to increase the relationship between Vadim and Dimitri. So let's try this out. Let's do fraternization. You and Dimitri. Go. This increases the relationship quite significantly, which is nice. It increases camp morale as well. It's kind of hoping it would help with the shivering as well because he's near the campfire, but it didn't. And I don't want to increase the campfire visibility too much. So we're going to tell uh, Sir Edward... No, we're going to tell Vadim to unsnow this. So that we get some more resources. And this would allow us to go to... Well, once we build it, it could allow us to go to sleep, but not yet. Right now we're just unsnowing this so that we can get uh, some resources. What's up with her? Why is she gray? She's she's resting. That looks kind of scary. Okay, I was worried. I was like, what happened to her? Is she dead? <laughs> she's just resting. Everybody else should stay, stay at the campfire, so hopefully they'll be fine. I'm worried about the twisted ankle here, but there's nothing I can do right now, so... Afraid nerves. Beast beans. Oh, we've got some beans, so that could help us with food. But right now, let's go to sleep. Alright, let's talk about Maria. I'm begging you, help me! We must go there tomorrow to look for Patricia! Pieta, is he your brother? He was a baggage handler. He is, he's a baggage handler. My god, I've left him there alone! Maria, there's no chance that he's even survived the catastrophe, and even if somehow the bandits pulled him out of the wreck and did not kill him, by looking for him, we would put ourselves in great danger. Will you leave an innocent boy to die? Better him than me. Why should I have my ears for his written for looking for some brat? Yeah, she's not gonna like that. He would definitely like to help you in such a situation. Surely we can do something now. First of all, you need to save strength. You won't help him dead or sick. This remark applies to all of us. Let's gather strength and avoid fighting. Let's not be conspicuous. They'll trust her a bit more, but they're not very happy about it. Let's talk about... Let's check the Northern River. Why should we stick in this forest and cold when we were still driving? A bend of river could be seen in the north. We have to get to it. I think it's a lingo or some info of it anyway. All the rivers in this area flow into Baikal. That's what I'm talking about. We will build a raft and the next thing we see is Rictusk. Raft on the icebound river? Let's discuss it. 
Well, at least let's look for the river and check the ice condition. After all, it's out to maybe the river will be navigable. And if it's covered with the hard ice, we can build a sleigh like Chiku people. Traveling down the river can be feasible even without a team. That is not stupid. And that looks pretty good. I think she's gonna dislike him quite significantly after this conversation because he doesn't want to help with the brother. I like how the other ones just didn't say anything. They're like, it's fine. He got it. He's gonna tell her that we're not gonna do it. It's okay. <laughs> and he was like, oh, that's all right. I'll talk her down. Now actually she increases the relationship with him. Interesting. I guess she felt like she didn't, she couldn't go anyway. So like she understood what he said. Still interesting decision. And right, everybody's super thirsty, so let's get everybody a sip. Well, everybody I can, at least. Alright, so, um... Yeah, he's very hungry. So let's give you some beans. Not so hungry anymore. And we'll give Vadim some beans as well. And we've got psychedelic mushrooms. Not delicious, but allows you to forget about the cold. We should give it to him and to her. We'll get some edible roots to... Oh, we gotta give it to Sir Edward because he didn't eat much. All right, everybody's doing a bit better. Let's send him to the expedition so we can see if the enemy's patrol is a bit closer. Check the river float northwest of the camp. So we're gonna go... We're gonna send an expedition. We'll go with Maria. Actually, we'll go with these two. Even though they're not too happy together, we're gonna do it because they have more action points, so we could do it a little bit longer. Nice, we got a lot of the bugs, which is good. Let's keep moving in that direction. If you meet to patrol, by the way, it's not over. It's just like some sort of weird event is going to happen. Let's go, danger zone is insignificant. That's pretty cool. Take all, good. We're gonna start moving back. We're gonna move through this. Oh, it costs us action points, so now we're gonna have to go back home. Oh, we've got an event. Unexpectedly, a swarm of nefty, nasty flies encircles you, biting severely an exposed part of your body. Even when you were traveling by train, you heard warnings of the tag of people about such a swarm, but apparently at this time of year, bugs should not breed anymore. Well, these flies are printed on the calendar. You run away as fast as you can. Yeah. All right, let's return to camp. Actually, could we go back this way? Can we keep searching? Yeah, we can. So I'll take that and I will go back home. Alright. Alright, so let's make sure that everybody's going to eat. Who is hungry? Everybody's a little bit hungry. It's Bugs, but he's not hungry anymore. You also not hungry anymore, Sir Edward. And Maria will eat a bit as well. Good. Now we're gonna increase this uh Fire. I'm gonna increase it one more time because everybody's really freezing. Do we need to increase it even more? Could we do this upgrade? Yes, we can do this upgrade. So we're gonna do a solid upgrade. We'll send Maria and uh, Dimitri to do it. They don't like each other, but I don't care because this is gonna give us food and we can make stew and soups and herbal teas and all kind of good stuff. Good. Now, uh, somebody still has an action, so cooked food. We could make a stew, delicious stew. We need a lot of water for that. Herbal tea, scrambled eggs, fruit tea. Got no berries right now, it's okay. So we're gonna fill the water then, but yeah, we're gonna be able to do a lot of cool stuff afterwards, which I think is quite nice. There we go. Either way, I think this is a good time to end the episode. If let me know if you'd like me to continue the series, and you can click on the right to watch Wanderlust, which is a storytelling game, or Duplicity. I'll see you there. Bye bye.